you know, a new welcome to this Gears of War 5, hopefully, preview that we will get on this stream tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare yourself mentally. You don't want to miss out. If you want to go follow me on all social medias, Twitter, we have it. Twitch.tv forward slash Ross Hickey. It's the exact same name as the username with live at the end of it. Go follow me there where you will see consistent, consistent Gears of War streams. Let's get into it. Alright, let's go. Come on, Rod. Give me the dirty details. Oh, let's go, champ. Let's go, champ! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Give me a... Mm. What is going on? Man, I'll tell you what, Rikari may have gotten rage too for his birthday, but June 14th is mine and I cannot be more excited. And joining me now to explain about that excitement, Rod Ferguson, studio head. And Rod, of course, you're beautiful man. Of the coalition mm -hmm. makes gears. Thank you so much for being here, Rod. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I am very happy for you to be here because you are talking my language, and that, of course, is eSports. And you've been here before, and we're we're coming at this from the perspective of, you know, we've got the second season of Gears Pro Circuit wrapping up next week, right? We've got a lot of that eSports scene already around. Right. Um, everyone wants to know what's next. And more importantly, where can they see Gears this summer? Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm here for, is to talk about eLeague. eLeague is amazing. You know, it's been like three years now and on TBS, and... We always talked about like Gears of War esports when we started, you know, back in 2014 Let's when I brought go. Gears to Vancouver. It was really about like how can we bring esports on this journey? We got to learn to crawl, then we can learn to walk, and we can try to run. And was, Let's and start sprinting, Rod. Really that crawl and Gears 4 was walking, and now I feel like we're trying to get to run. Like we're on, we're standing up, we're picking up the pace, and this idea of bringing Gears of War um, to the E League and, and and having this partnership with them so that people can see it on their television and really get deeper into Crazy. what is the gear scene. You know, it's like Madness. go back to our all access we used to have, yep. right? Yep. So that was all about the players and and the rivalries and and their stories and. Uh, overcoming adversity and and that's what the e-league is going to bring it's not just about you know the tournaments and it's not just about highlight reels it's really about who are the players who are the teams you know who are the fans and wh what are those stories that we want to tell and the fact that we're gonna have these six episodes that are going to tell these stories and you're going to get to go deeper into them and really understand what is the gears esports scene and that's one of the things i love about gears esports is that they come alongside like you mentioned those players you know basically you know away from the keyboard out of the the bright lights still a very important part of course but i'm i'm, I'm gonna go into the e-league portion of this obviously a great organization to align with right Mortal Kombat's been with them right. CSGO which I'm, I'm former e-league uh, reporter here so I'm biased but you know you, you, in Rocket League we're talking about they've done an incredible job with a lot of these different franchises how does it feel now to have gears as a part of that lineup yeah Feels I think goddamn really good sense. I mean I think getting that out and because a lot of times esports can sometimes feel sort of niche you know in terms of it's a it's a subset of your audience of who you're trying to attract but it really sets the sort of the the tone of what is the franchise you really see with our players and the way that the you know the slamming on the chest and the hype that comes with every event and I think the competitive spirit that's there and and I think what's what we're doing even sort of special like as you said we're ending season two with Gears 4 and so now people are wondering like what's going on with Versus for Gears 5 and so we're using E-League as a way to bring that out and show that off so E-League is actually going to be the way you're going to see your first glimpse of Versus of Gears 5 and then in, Jan in July 13th and 14th we're going to have a Gears 5 tournament uh, an invitational and we're going to bring eight teams fan favorites from around the world to come together and uh, show off what Versus is really like in Gears 5. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Ron. That's Let's go. <laughs> uh, but also, you, you, you know, we will be hearing from you soon what? about some other gears. Games. I have, I, am I correct? I have no idea what you're talking Boy, about. I have no you know, idea what you're talking about right now. I just, if only the, the, something could pop to mind, I'd, I'd be able to come up with something. Or if I could think tactically about what I could talk about, I, I just don't know what I could be thinking <laughs> I about. I wonder. Yeah, I mean, we're doing lots. We're doing, you know, uh, 
there's a crazy amount of stuff going on in the coalition. Rob's right now. doing bits. Uh, Coalition's so much so doing that I had bits. To, like, take a seaplane down and back so that I. Oh, I, I, didn't, I watched. I, I saw on your <laughs> Instagram. That was a uh, pretty cool. Pretty so well. I didn't lose a day in the studio. So I mean, more than a day. And so, yeah, yeah we have lots of stuff going on. I even got the new comic book series started with High Busters. Right. Uh, that's going to be coming out in uh, May. I hope I'm supposed to be yeah. saying that because now it's out there now. It is there. Uh, there you go. So yeah. So between like three games, Slip it up. a bunch of other stuff, plus comics, I love plus it. a bunch of other stuff. There's just. Uh, a lot going on, but just the fact that we're bringing, like, you know, when we started back with Ultimate Edition and just sort of going back old school, because you remember what Gears 1 was like with eSports, like, it was like there was not really a way to view it, and there was no spectator camera, and it was really, the, you know, the, the old school of the old school. Yeah. And we've been trying to improve that and improve that and improve that and improve, make it more playable, make it more watchable, make it more, you know, uh, being able to have better camera controls. And I think as you see where we get to with, you know, Gears 5, and then as we go to continue to improve, that's one of the things I love about sort of the games that have this life beyond launch now. It's not all what's in the box, it's about what where you take it after that too. And that's gonna be true for esports and Gears 5 as well. Like where can we carry it even after launch? Well, as an esports fan, I am so excited to have Gears with the league. Thank you so much, Rod, for being here and for talking to us today. Rod. Happy to do it, happy to do it you know, on your birthday. So that's, <laughs> there's my gift to Absolute you. Absolute legend. I love it, I can't wait for Gears esports. The entire time I'm here, but no, yeah, so June 14th. <laughs> Uh, well, the first episode, so okay. please tune in and uh, and watch TBS because it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be awesome. And I think it's going to bring, if you're new to esports, if yes. you're not as hardcore as, say, Kate. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Like uh, me. Then, but I think it's a great way to get into it because, yeah. like I said, it's about, you know when you watch the Olympics and you say, like, I don't care about the triathlon. And then, yeah. you, then you see a human story about this triathlete and what they've overcome and what they've done in their lives. And now you're like, I really want them to win. I really I'm invested. I want it's to know way, more. Think, really, the fact that you get to understand their stories and, and when their journey and then you get to see them play and what that means. I, th I think it's going to kind of change the scene. And and, and E League is absolutely one of the top esports entities out there that does that. Rod, I'm so thankful that you were here. And uh, you know what? Let's actually send it back over to Larry. Back to Thanks, you, Larry. Rod. Thanks, Kate. If you're like me and you can't get enough of Let's Apex go. Legends, I think I've got enjoyed a the video. will make you drop your epically skinned Mozambique. Check this out. No, relax. Star Wars. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you're excited for Gears of War Esports growing. And Gears 5 content coming soon. Gameplay coming soon. Very soon. Subscribe so you can never miss an update. Twitch.tv forward slash Ross Hickey Live. Go tune in there and we'll play some Gears together. See you on the next one. Let's hit a thousand subscribers real soon before Gears 5. Let's go. Peace.